Hi guys, uh, so in my last video I compared the CPU performance of two 2020 MacBook Air models, an Intel Core i3 model and an Apple M1 model. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at gaming performance across a couple of very popular titles. I'll be starting off with a Civilization 6 graphics test, so let's get started. So the M1 MacBook got around 37 FPS on average compared to 5.6 on the i3 model. That's an almost seven times higher average frame rate, which is pretty astonishing really when you consider the fact that there, are, there is no native ARM binary for this game. So on the M1 machine, it is running under Rosetta 2 emulation. So now let's move on and look at the second game in this video, which is World of Warcraft Shadowlands. So the M1 MacBook had an almost locked 60 FPS using the 1440 by 900 resolution, which is around five times higher than the i3 model, which hovered around the 12 FPS mark. Uh, now let's bump up the resolution and check out how they both fare in that scenario. So at native resolution, the M1 MacBook remained playable with frame rates in the high 20s, but the i3 MacBook's FPS was in the single digits with it generally hovering around the 7 FPS mark. It's worth pointing out that throughout these tests, the i3 model's fan was audibly running, whereas the M1 version is passively cooled, so it was completely silent throughout. Um, in conclusion, I think it's fair to say that the M1 MacBook is seriously impressive, and it feels much more like using a laptop with a discrete GPU, but without the heat and fan noise that you expect in that scenario. At the end of the day, this is probably the lowest performing ARM, ARM Mac that's ever going to be released, which I think bodes well for the future of gaming on the Mac. Hopefully this significantly elevated base performance level leaves some more developers considering releasing their games on the platform, so at the moment the selection of titles playable on Mac OS is quite limited compared with Windows. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, I hope you find this useful. Um, I am going to be doing another video um, comparing the battery life and energy efficiency of the two MacBooks. Um, yeah, so I hope to see you there. Cheers. Bye.